how to connect Canva website to an existing domain. So in this video today, I'll be showing you how you can actually connect in website from Canva to an existing domain. So watch the video all the way through if you guys wanna learn how you can actually connect Canva website to an existing domain. Now basically you can see I'm currently on my Canva website or dashboard here. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna make my way towards the website section here. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna create a new website. So go ahead, follow through very closely so you guys have a good understanding of how you can do this. Now basically, I'm gonna go ahead and add a template here. Now there's a lot of templates that you can actually use for your website here. There is temporarily uh, just so many uh, right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. This one looks super good. Um, make automation work for you is actually super good. So we could just put the web guide network right here for an example the web guide network and then basically all we have to do is just make sure that we actually publish the website so we can do that by heading over to the top right hand corner of the page here and then going ahead and then clicking on publish website so once we do that basically all we have to do is now we have to go ahead and add a domain we could use a free domain which is going to be the canva domain uh, basically, we're going to want to go ahead and add an existing domain, but I'll show you just guys really quick on how you can actually purchase a domain. So you can actually purchase one through Canva and I'm just going to go ahead and type in a website that I do have here. So Stalgicam and basically it's going to go ahead and give us, you know, the website for about $21, $25 a year, $18 a year, whatever it might be, right? This is a little expensive, honestly. Uh, I do believe there are cheaper alternatives that you can get. So on Namecheap, this is the Namecheap. Uh, just make sure that your records are deleted and everything. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you how cheap domains can actually get. So basically I'll show you right now. So Stalgicam, Stalgicam. So basically here you can see that there are very cheap alternatives for like $8. That's same one, Stalgicam on Canva right here. Let me go back here. The Stalgicam.org, $21 a year. That same one right here is 31% off on Namecheap, right? So it's very, very cheap. You can actually purchase it. I will have a link down in the description for you guys to use so you can actually purchase it. It's a referral for my channel. It really helps out the channel. And basically, you can purchase your first domain there if you need one. Now, basically, once you go ahead and have your domain, uh, basically, you can just purchase one here from Canva. There are a lot of them, but the thing is, they do get very expensive. And you can just buy, like, two domains for the price of just one of these on Namecheap. Uh, but, yeah, like I said, you can purchase on Namecheap. They are very expensive here on Canva. Uh, you can open up a free domain here on Canva. You can click continue. You can see here, uh, 1234 Stalge My Canva site, the Web Guy Network. Uh, that'll be our automatic uh, domain name, the assigned one that we do get. We can actually create our own subdomain, but basically that'll go ahead and be our domain for the site here if we want a free one. But since we want to go ahead and add an existing domain, uh, we're basically going to have to go ahead and click the use my existing domain button. So go ahead and click use my existing domain and click continue. Now here you can actually uh, check your connected domains. You can see stalgicam.com is one of my existing domains here. Uh, you can actually add another domain if you actually have one. Keep in mind you can connect up to five domains if you've bought them from another company. So basically here you can actually go ahead and just add your domain. So I'm going to go ahead and add stalgicam. And make sure that your DNS templates and everything or the host records are deleted. Make sure it's completely blank. So once I go ahead and do that, I'm going to go ahead and click continue. Once I've done that, it's going to ask me to save my domain settings. Before making changes, go to your domain host settings and take a screenshot so you have a reference in case you'd like to reset them. So you could do that if you want. Uh, basically, you're going to have to go ahead and it says right here, your current site may be temporarily taken offline while we verify your domain. This could take up to 48 hours. So I'm going to go ahead and click continue here. And the first thing we're going to want to do is delete the existing records. Like I've mentioned prior, you're going to want to delete any records that you do have and make sure that there are no records just to prevent any like, you know, uh, errors or anything like connection uh, problems. So basically, once you do that, you're going to click continue and you're going to want to add a text record. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add the host right here. So I'm going to copy the host alias right here. I'm going to go into my DNS settings or advanced DNS settings on my uh, domain here. So basically, I'm going to add a new record under host records. I'm going to make sure that I open up a text record. Now, in the host, I'm going to go ahead and paste in the uh, copy paste right here that it does give us. Now we're going to copy the value in points as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in the value here. 
TTL could be automatic, just leave it as that and then save changes. So that's the first record that we went ahead and created. So now we're gonna go ahead and create the next records. So I'm gonna go back here. We're gonna go ahead and click the little purple button here that says text record added. So now we're gonna have to add an A record. So basically all we have to do here is just copy the at right here, the host, and we're gonna go back into our DNS settings, add a new record, open up an A record. Once we do that, copy and paste the host once we do that, we're now going to copy the IP address. We're just going to point and connect us to Canva website. So all we have to do is copy that, go over, and in the IP address, this is actually another IP address, but you can see here, uh, we actually went ahead and uh, pasted it here. So basically, all we have to do now is just go ahead and save the changes here, and our first A record is now done. So now we actually need to open up another A record, as it mentions at the bottom right here. So we're going to go ahead and click the purple button, says right here, A record added. Now we're going to add another A record here, and basically this is going to be a different one. The host is going to be a little bit more different. So I'm going to go ahead and copy it. Go back to your advanced DNS and then add a new record, which is going to be our new A record in the host, put www and in the IP address, go ahead and paste the, or copy and paste the uh, IP address in this A record. So paste it right there. And basically that'll go ahead and actually, um, you know, give you the A record here. And once you do that, you're going to want to go back and press the A record added. And it's now going to say that everything has been checked and you're now going to want to connect the domain. So once you do that, it's going to give you a couple of review settings that you can actually add. Now you actually have the browser tab preview and it's pretty much what appears at the top right here. So let's say you want to go ahead and change this. I'm going to go ahead and change it to the web guide website. So once I do that, that's going to be the browser tab preview. It's what you're going to see at the very top of your tab. Now you can write a website description. This can be a very brief description. So basically, I'm just going to go ahead and put, uh, let's see, book your YouTube, your YouTube consultation call or something like that. So we'll just do something like that and then put period. Once we go ahead and do that, uh, at the bottom, there's going to be permission, permission, sorry about that. Um, you can enable password protection. That's totally up to you if you want your uh, website to be password protected. But in most cases, people don't use it. It's going to say right here at the bottom as well, hide my website from search engines. Now, the thing is, uh, your, your thing won't be uh, actual, actually discoverable if you actually press this and enable it. It's good that you have this ticked off because your website will be discoverable and it just makes it easier for customers and clients to find your website. So just make sure that everything is just toggled off here. Click publish. Once you do that, it's gonna prepare your design and it's gonna get ready to deploy on your website. Now keep in mind, it does take a little bit. Now it says right here, your website will be live soon. Now you can actually take a look at this. It says your website will be ready to view at stalgicam.com. So I reckon it might take a little bit for it to actually set up, but you can see here, this is a preview of the actual website. And basically it'll actually work for us. Now I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. And you can see here, uh, it is now on our website, stalgicam.com. So our existing domain now works. And basically that's how you go ahead and add an existing domain to your Canva website. So if you found this video helpful, please leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. And make sure to leave a comment down below any suggestions that you have or any questions. I'll be sure to answer them and get back to you soon. That being said, have a nice day, everybody, and I will see you guys until next time.